Hey, Linda. Long time no see. Long time no hear. I'm doing good, and you? Sweeping it all away. Aw. Sorry, I'm kind of slow. I don't have my glasses. And the chat seems so small today. I don't know why. <sighs> Let's see if I can make it a little bigger somehow. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, at least, you know, you're, you're almost there. You're getting it. You're almost out of it. I remember a few years ago, I had a cold for a long time, too. It felt like it took almost a month to leave. Stubborn cold. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to give these away as gifts. I made this one today, and I put a bell inside them. I think he came out so super cute. So, I'm going to do a couple of different style ones and give them away. But you know what? Some of them I'm going to put candy, and some is going to have like little trims or whatever that fit inside. Using this fabric that had that had previous stuff down to a different project, and this was supposed to be for the Macy's building here in New York, the company that my husband used to work for, or one of those buildings down here. Anyway, they were making these huge bows out of this beautiful velvety fabric. But then I don't know what happened. They didn't take the bows. So they tossed them and I took them and just removed all the fabric from the bows. So that's why the fabric looks underneath kind of weird. I can't see what you wrote. Thank you, they are adorable. 
They are so cute. I'm afraid I'm not gonna be much of of help conversating because I don't know what's going on. My eyesight today is really hey Nada. Nice to see you. Flipping it inside out. Scissors are acting up today. I can't see what you roll. I'm gonna have to like bring this laptop so close to my face just to see. I'm <laughs> not using duct tape. <laughs> what I'm making? Uh, I'm making gnomes. Little gnomes that I plan to fill with goodies and send out to friends and family. Little gnomies. So I made this guy today. And then these other little guys. I was telling Linda some are going to get filled with candy. Some are going to get filled with like little trims. And maybe appliques or whatever. So that's what I'm working on. Thank you. It's so very easy to make. You just need some toilet paper tubes, some fabric, and of course your little beard. You could use yarn, you could use um, feathers maybe. Or anything really that kind of looks like a beard and use that and beads of wow this thing kind of sealed itself <laughs> uh -oh. that glue is still still sticks to each other uh -oh. where are you then I hardly have nails to peel it apart oh, Okay, let's try this again. Let's see what I have to poke it open. Long as we love and stay, let us know. Unbelievable. Give me one second. This material has like glue on the underside and I only glued one end, but it somehow <laughs> it stuck its whole self and I don't have no nails to really like poke it. I don't have my pokey tool in front of me neither. So no more nipple on the table. This is my new table and I'm loving it. Love this table. I'm so happy. So I'm a little small, smaller than the other. Probably about half a foot. Wow, this thing is not cooperating. Let me see if I cut it a little bit. Can't believe that you actually adhered yourself closed. I can't believe this material. Oh well, let's start this again then. I can't believe you, material. The material has like glue underneath. Now yeah, I'm gonna have to make a smaller hat. Too lazy to cut another piece. And I have to put a piece of something inside just to keep it from sticking. And 
if I put this inside, will it work? Would it fit though? Mm -mm. Unbelievable blooper time. can't I'm not gonna be no good talking today because I really can't see this screen today I don't know why it's so small unbelievable my poor hat stood stuck even with the glue that I put on the glue gun bet you that side will open faster than the the side that doesn't have no glue at all unbelievable well now I know do not try this at home, ladies, because you've got sticky material. I didn't think it would stick that well. This has been since two years with the same glue underneath it. Unbelievable. Let's try this again. And if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. scissors are acting up too. Where are my fabric scissors when I need them? <laughs> Only on camera this happens, I swear. Awkward. Now you want to cut? Come on, let's go. Oh, I'm going to have to take you to go get sharpened. And you ain't going to want that. I messed up these scissors. I was cutting wire with this instead of using like pliers or something like that. I was dumb enough to use these scissors. Now I don't want to cut. Linda must be dying right now laughing. Haha, uh -huh, look what happened to you. What can I put under here? Wood paper, scrap paper. Here's scrap paper when you need it. <sighs> Story of my life. Let's try this again. Are you gonna cooperate, dude? Out. I'll just put the same piece in here. And this hat is very wide now. It's gonna have a very crinkly hat. <laughs> I don't think the scissors is gonna even want to cut through all this layer, but I will try it. Give me a second, let me see if I find another pair of scissors. Let me see if these little guys work better. Let's 
material is pretty thick. It's really good quality suede. Okay. Got it done. Even though it's all crummy on the rim. Should have took minutes. Feels like it's taking forever. Now this hat is huge. It's gonna have a, a lot of bulk to the back. Industrial strength, yeah, I know it is. It feels like it's industrial strength glue. I know I should have never done that. I messed these scissors up, and these are brand new scissors, too. I don't know what happened, but now it will not cut anything at all. cotton balls inside not too many but now with this jumbo size hat probably should put a little extra beard is very pink. I probably should have used the whiter one, but I'm too lazy to go get the white one. <laughs> Do you guys think it looked that bad with the pink beard? hat is huge. He looks like he's almost in pajamas. But this feels so nice. Oops. Thought my laptop was gonna fall. Whoa. Put a different color hat. <sighs> so I'm kind of mad that this thing is so huge. Let's see. I'm gonna tighten it a little bit. You look like a wizard. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Does look a little wizardy. But I'm, I just love feeling this. It's so soft. 
feels so soft. He's got a monster beard. I can't wait to take off the skin. I'm gonna start crying where only my dog is crying in the background. He cries to come in and then he cries to leave. Now you're gonna start hearing mm, 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 in the background. <laughs> I should make this into a girl gnome. I love it, it looks like pretty hair. Um, this is suede, like some real, oh, not suede, velvet, I'm sorry, velvet, really good quality velvet. I was telling Linda that this was supposed to be for bows in Manhattan, the company that my husband used to work for. Um, we're making these bows for like, I think it was Macy's building, I forget what building it was. I needed these huge bows. They were doing blue. Probably like two years ago. And so they didn't want the bows. Or they had extra bows. I forget. But so the company usually throws away everything that they make. Like we would do stuff for Gucci, Sephora. I would work there too. Off and on. Um, they would do all kind of like Vince Camuto, all kind of crazy stuff and whatever projects that they had stuff left over they would just throw it away, brand new stuff it didn't matter how much it cost the company would just toss everything out so they threw out um, all those big bowls, I'm talking about the bowls were like massive so I took two of them and just took the fabric because I liked the fabric so much I wish I would have just kept them as bows. I think we're gonna add a little bit or fix the cotton somewhat. Tip is not having. Let me break this up a little bit. Uh, when they did the like the final episode of Game of Thrones, Adidas company, they were doing the Game of Thrones chair. That was like one of the last projects he was doing before he stopped working at the company. I was like, oh man, they should have gave us that chair. Game of Thrones chairs. Last time they gave out like flat screen TVs. was a great company to work for but they kind of started going bankrupt because like their um uh what you call that the people who go and get the jobs i forget the title they were like paying them way too much money like field field workers i forget what's the title why is my brain They'll give out TVs. I think they gave out some sneakers for like the Adidas company gave everybody that like did the the setup. Gave them like um Game of Thrones stink sneakers and stuff. I wish he was still working there. I used to get all kind of crazy crafty stuff, papers, I didn't have like high quality papers ribbons you name it gloves cards papers envelopes any kind of 
like store they would do like the windows the stores or like the displays for um, Macy's also we would do Lancome all these crazy major companies <laughs> okay so that's basically what he's gonna look like so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna glue on the hat in the back and then later on I'll kind of adjust it No one told you to come in here and then cry to leave. So I'm using these fillers from Dollar Tree as my gnome hands and feet and nose. <laughs> I know dumpster diving I know they used to just you know say whoever wants whatever take it if not we used to go to you had to go to the because they were happy that you take anything they didn't have to throw it out they were like super lazy to throw out their own trash making me sneeze <laughs> there's like hair flying everywhere in here oh believe it or not there's a lot of people who know the company like, like the people who live in the neighborhood of the company they do do a lot of um, dumpster diving they actually do seen plenty of people going through the trash. <laughs> so what you guys been up to lately? Nobody's been doing any crafting. Um, if you want the arms to move, you put pipe cleaners in them. On these, I did put pipe cleaners in them so they're able to keep their shape. On this one, I didn't. And they'll basically look the same anyway. Nothing's a big difference with having or not. Probably would just keep them with their hands down anyway. Give me one second. Let me let that dog out the room because he'll, he'll keep whining. Oh yeah, I, yeah, I could see better if you had type capitals. Oh, you watched four movies. Oh my goodness. What movies did you watch, um, Nada? 
I only watch a little TV when I eat. That's the only time, basically. The fact that I should just keep that room. Only, like, when I'm sitting down to eat dinner. Then I'll actually um, watch a movie. Because I really don't have time for none of that. bottle box what's that sounds so interesting what's a bottle box nobody knows hopefully it won't close with this pipe cleaner inside he does kind of look like a little <laughs> he looks like a little wizard you're right he has that wizard vibe with this material They're in the kitchen drawer. Mm -hmm. Okay, if they want to go in that way, let's go in through this side. <laughs> Unleashed. Don't listen. Kitchen's Chronicles 1 and part 2. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. I think I saw Christmas Chronicles before. I don't know if it was part one, but I know I've seen part two. I don't know about part one. It's all right. Whoopsie. New Christmas. I think it needs a little bit more cotton. But I'm not going to stay too long anyway. Because I really got to finish up some other projects. Still have to do my junk journals. I still have them halfway. So many projects and so little time. And everybody's already uploaded all their stuff. And I'm still nowhere near the end. Okay, so you look for the wider hole. This one has the smaller hole. And what I like to do is miter the corners. Let me use those other scissors. Already damaged them anyway. like this material is so soft that it feels like the glue wants to slip right off his arms is a little too long so I'm gonna trim that down a little bit more <laughs> send some, I know. Send some to me too, Nato. To use some coffee right now. I'm gonna have a long night. 
been a long day. I'm going to kind of tuck his arm underneath the hat. That's why I only glue the back first. So I could kind of hide that seam or whatever. And got some of his beard back there. do this with a knife and I keep forgetting to bring the knife or the exact knife you would slice this much more nicely with a knife It'll look way prettier cut it again try to look to see which is the better side and this is going to be our shoes our feet. Whoops, how did that happen? Ooh. So you basically got the idea. I'm gonna finish the other foot and well the other arm off camera. I'm just gonna do the decorating part. Cause it's already getting late for me. And I got a lot to do and I'm fast off camera. Make less mistakes. <laughs> oh, little feet so cute. So I, you look inside, he's pretty much not that messed up inside. It'll be cute to put a little trim inside there. And I had actually took these things out. It might be a little too big, but I'm going to try it anyway, see how it goes. So these are those um, cotton pads, you get them at Dollar Tree too. I've been having these around for a little while because I wanted to make some cookies with these. Like, you know, faux cookies of course, not real cookies. I was thinking maybe, meh, probably not. The better the tissue paper. And let's see what I was saying before. These you get from the from the, the ribbon trims and stuff that you get at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. They have these like stoppers so that it don't come apart. This actually fits perfectly on the bottom. So I would put a piece of tissue paper on the side or you could even put a piece of the same fabric like I did here on this one it has its own red fabric on the inside you could also cut another to finish it off better cut another circle in red to kind of finish that off <clears throat> but if you're gonna put like trims or whatever and you want them to take it out you could put the tissue paper on the inside and let them poke that through and try to get the trims out. Could be almost like a little game or whatever. You could leave this loose as well and just put the fabric around it. And then just have it. Let's see if I could do it without making a big mistake. <laughs> is better. This is 
giving you some ideas that you could use the gnomes. It just doesn't have to be for decoration. It could actually have a purpose. Also, you can put decorative paper on the inside of the circle, or the toilet paper tube, rather, so it could look more finished. You could also put ribbon. I don't know if I did it to this one. I did do it, but I didn't finish it, but you can see to try to make it more finished, put some little ribbon trim on the inside of that circle. Okay. So now you can put that down in there, and of course you would cover on top too. There you go. And you could leave it loose, and they could take out the trim like that. But I would rather make them work for it. <laughs> Go and work for it. Break the little tissue paper. Hi, Gerald. Yeah, put some of that fabric on top. And just um, have fun with it. I mean, there's so many things. Put the bell, put cash inside, candy inside, trims inside, and give that out as gifts. So that's what some of my friends are going to get. Crafty friends will get trims inside, and um, family members, cash and candy. And this guy, I think he came out so cute. And I just took some of that Dollar Tree... Um, reef. Actually, I should have put a reef in his hat too. It would have been so much more cuter. I think I'm going to try to make a girl. I just like shaking it. I feel like a kid shaking it. I can shake it all day. Plus, he has a little bell in his hat. I should just have him with his pointy hat. I don't know. Do gnomes hat come down or do they stay up pointy like that? I don't even know. I'm just jumping on the bandwagon now. Actually, Nada, I'm going to post up a couple of them on my Etsy shop. Just because I think it's cute to put like a um, little surprise inside and you never know what you're going to get. But yeah, I, I'm going to post some of them up. If you're talking to me, I don't know if you're talking to me. I'm really going to make some girl gnomes. I want to make a green gnome and put like feathers to make his hat like a tree. I want to have his hat like a tree and hang little, like a little trim going around and stuff. So I'm going to do that one next. I think I'm going to leave it up to here, lovely ladies. I'm having trouble with seeing the screen. And I feel bad that I can't see what you guys are saying. So I guess it will be until tomorrow. I am going to post up a video showing the tutorial how I made him, which is the same thing. And if you have the fabric, not the sticky fabric, if you have the fabric already 
pre-cut before you start makes life so much easier just pre-cut the for the toilet paper tube pre-cut the little hat the little um beard and then from there the fun part just decorating so thank you guys for watching thank you guys for stopping by i'm gonna call it quits right here thank you for the support please hit that like button it helps us out and um yeah thank you guys for stopping by nada if you if you're interested in the know me don't worry i got you my homie <laughs> um you let me know if you want a pink one, a blue one, a green one. Um, I'm about to make a gray one. I have different color fleeces, but good night. Bye. You can email me, um, Nada, if you want. <laughs>